this is our dissecting video of our specimen which is the hammerhead shark as you all can see in this video an incision was made on the specimen from the inner till up to the throat also called the pelvic region the most obvious organ that can be seen is the liver of the specimen it is pinkish and slightly yellow As the incision is widened up, the specimen's liver are assembled and the stomach, the gallbladder, along with the urinary bladder are exposed as well. The heart of the specimen is also exposed at the top part of the hammerhead shark. The tissue surrounding the heart is slowly removed as it's delicate. The gills of the specimen are slowly removed from the internal gill slits using a pair of small scissors. The membrane attached to the cartilaginous spine is also further dissected. By dissecting this cartilaginous spine, the specimen's kidneys are exposed. As you can see, those are the kidneys. The shark, the hammerhead shark, has a cartilaginous skull which is shaved using a dissecting knife. The shaving of the skull is then stopped when the brain is exposed. As you all can see, it is in bright pink. The skull of the part of this shark is actually widened up by cutting the edges of the skull in order to remove the brain from the brain case. The cartilaginous part of this hammerhead shark is widened up by using a small pair of scissors. <laughs> These are the parts of the hammerhead shark that was dissected. As you can see, this is the median lobe of liver. This here is the gallbladder. This is the right lobe of liver, the left lobe of liver. And this here is the cardiac portion of stomach. The esophageal papillae. Further down, we have the urinary bladder, the rectum, the colon, the kidney. This is the lobe of pancreas. And by the side, we have the bile duct. That is the brains of our hammerhead shark and this is the gills connected to the heart.